I gotta get this off my chest. First of all, I wanna say, I am not a coward, all right? I'm not a coward, I'm telling you this right now. A couple days ago, I had a dream, all right? And this doesn't happen often where I actually remember my dreams. So it's a rare occasion to begin with. I dreamed that I had been challenged to a rap battle that had a theme, and I had to rap as a character, and the character I was given is Quasimodo. I've never seen Hunchback of Notre Dame, but I know a base level amount about it, right? I I started coming up with, with rhymes about Count Fro Fro Frollo, right? Frollo? And I'm pretty sure I was going to rhyme it with YOLO. Don't judge me, I was dreaming. Is I come up with this entire rap in my brain, right? While I'm sleeping. And in my head, it sounded so good, right? And then, right as I'm about to enter this rap battle, I completely forget everything that I had prepared to say. And so my brain just shut down. It was like, no, 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 no. And then I woke up. I'm not a coward, all right? I don't know what happened. This isn't normal for multiple reasons, but apparently dream me was so scared. It just shut down. I woke up, my first thoughts were, no, 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 no. I'm not a coward, okay? I'm not. Real quick, I have woke up from dreaming having other things going on. I once woke up from a dream because in the dream, this is the nerdiest Christian thing ever, I, I was dreaming, the world was flooding, I was in this skyscraper and I was watching the news, and it was like a worldwide situation, the world was flooding again, and I literally had the thought, wait a minute, this isn't supposed to be how the world ends, and then I woke up! And before any of you make fun of me, be careful, because I will, I will brain you with a pristine Bible Man action figure. So don't do it. I, I woke up in a dream shouting match once where I was yelling at someone and I woke up angry. Usually, like, I don't remember my, my dreams when I wake up. It just doesn't happen. When I was a kid, I'd come downstairs after, after sleeping and my sisters would just regale the breakfast table with their fantastical tales and their amazing dreams and I'm just sitting over with my cereal or my oatmeal just like, I, most of the time, I just don't remember my dreams. It just doesn't happen. If the first thing that I wake up to is my alarm, nothing. It's gone. The only way I can actually dream and remember it is to wake up really early on my day off and then go back to sleep immediately because of the REM cycle. See, I did my research. I always get let down because my expectations are so freaking high for these dream experiences that when they happen and they're just sort of disappointing or something goes wrong with them, like, why couldn't I crush a freaking Quasimodo rap battle? What's, what's wrong with my sleep self that I can't even do anything in, the, in the, the unconfined dream space? I can't do stuff. I remember once I had a, 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 a lucid dream. That's when you have control over certain things, right? You're supposed to have full control. That's the point of a lucid dream. I had been practicing for weeks doing the whole reality checks. I sound like a lunatic. Let me explain. Like checking your watch, checking the time, looking away, looking back, seeing if the time matches. Obviously, here in reality land, that always works because numbers make sense. But in the dream world, they don't. So you'll know if you're dreaming because you'll look back down at your watch and it won't make any sense. Numbers don't make any sense. Uh, there's that one. And then there's also counting your fingers. I kid you not, you go one, two, three, four, five. I remember because one time I realized I was dreaming because I went one, two, three, 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 and the numbers just made no sense. And I was like, oh shoot, I'm in the dream. And then I got really excited and then I woke up. I had a lucid dream once where I was stuck in a house looking for, uh, it was, it was a celebrity. It was someone I really wanted to meet for some reason. And I remember I was walking through this house. I knew they were in the house. And then my dad shows up and he's like, he's got this random guy who's just standing next to my dad. And my dad's just like, I found that guy you're looking for. And um, it, it wasn't, it wasn't him. It was just some random dude who then proceeds to start telling me 
his entire life story. And I'm just stuck there. I tried bursting through the wall. I tried flying. I was fully aware of the fact that I was dreaming, but I couldn't do anything. I was just stuck in a house listening to some rando tell me his life story. I love dreams. Dreams are cool. Inception's my favorite movie, probably. It's at least in my top 10, right? Super, super cool idea. Love the movie. Dreams are cool. The best prank I ever pulled at camp was involved a dream. This one year that I went to camp, there was another Max there at the camp that year, and that had never happened before. So we were immediate best friends, right? We were immediately close. We're in the same age group. We were like, this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna make this week awesome, right? This one kid in our cabin had been keeping us up all week. Every time there was a lull and it started to quiet down and people were starting to go to sleep, this little punk would make some noise or make some joke and everyone would just start laughing. Everyone would just start making noise and nobody could go back to sleep. And this kid, everyone hated his guts. For the last night of camp, everyone's allowed to stay up later. This kid is out like a light by like eight, nine o'clock, right? Completely dead asleep. And so myself and other Max, we look at each other. I think Jonah was there as well. We look over at this kid and we're like, how can we get him back without doing anything that can be directly tied back to us? How, what, what, what can we do to, to, to get him back for, for keeping us all up? And I don't remember whose idea it was. The collective idea was let's screw with this kid's dream. <laughs> there's nothing, there's no property damage, right? I mean, he's probably not in therapy over it. So we all surround the bunk. He's on the bottom bunk. He is out like a light. We lifted his arm up and it literally flopped like that, okay? This kid was out. We surround the bunk. Again, we had no time to prep this. This was a complete in the moment decision we were going to prank this kid. I don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember why, but I started making a helicopter noise. Everyone else is like stifling laughter. Next thing that happens is that other Max starts doing a perfect SpongeBob impression. I don't know where this came from. No one had heard him do this impression all week long, and he just busts it out. It was flawless. He did the laugh, ah! everything. Spot on, it was beautiful. Unprompted, I'm still. Someone else starts it with a Patrick impression, and I don't, the re... It was probably like, little, little, little. stupid, right? We're, we don't have a script. We're just enjoying the moment. Next thing that happens is we start shaking the bunks, <laughs> just gently at first. So now you have the bed is rocking back and forth. You have helicopter noises and you have SpongeBob and Patrick talking to each other on this helicopter. After the prank has gone on long enough, we're like, all right, let's just wake him up. So we start like slamming on the sides of the bed. So it's shaking, but we're also like smacking it, making these loud noises. Everyone just goes quiet. Cause we're all waiting for him to wake up, but he doesn't wake up. <laughs> this kid is still dead asleep. So we all walk away. We go back to our bunks, we go to bed. Next morning, it was literally like the least sly thing we could have done. Oh, so did anybody uh, have any weird dreams last night? He's dead serious. We had not told him anything. And he says, actually, yeah, I had a really weird dream last night. Oh, really? T t t tell us about it. Well, I was in a helicopter and SpongeBob and Patrick were there. And I think we were like in a fight, like people were shooting at us. At this point, we are all trying so hard not to overplay our hand here because none of us expected the detail to be there in this dream. None of us expected this to be going this well. And then he said, and then there was an explosion and I think we died. <laughs> yeah, we, um, we never told him what happened. I miss other Max. I'd get coffee with other Max. Maybe one day we can pull another dream heist. I'm not a coward.
I will dream rap battle anyone, anytime. You know what? Actually, me in a rap battle period, themed or otherwise, for anyone else would be a nightmare. If I'm in your dream trying to do a Quasimodo themed rap battle, it's a nightmare. <laughs> And just hope that you wake up from it as soon as possible before I try to bust out a line.